и запидервала сильно пробуем вообще пробуйте да но не сильно на критично на критично треба лягти ліпше іде? да? заводьте на право одразу Холодж, знімаємося запускається? а чую? давай, на право, одразу на право да, да право, дістань, дізи Носи! Принеси! А принеси прапор їм! Дай прапор! The successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation has raised morale not only in Ukraine but also in the post-Soviet space which has lived under Moscow's yoke for centuries. Residents of Kazakhstan are celebrating the achievements of Ukrainian soldiers. This was reported in his blog by the well-known Kazakh activist Adilzan Abdugaliev. The footage is available on the Telegram channel Ukraine365. The activists expressed confidence that the Ukrainian march is the beginning of the collapse of the Russian Federation. We didn't sleep all night, we celebrated. Almaty is on our ears. People are calling from all the cities of Kazakhstan, congratulating us. The Kazakhs are celebrating the successes of the armed forces of Ukraine no less than the new year. The armed forces of Ukraine are the gods of war. We, Kazakhs, have always supported you. We also have those who support the Russian world, Putin. No one is visible at all. Everyone is hiding somewhere in their holes. The armed forces of Ukraine are the gods of war. All the Kazakhs are happy. I also drank three mugs of beer. I drank for the first destroyed Russian column in the Kamaz trucks, for the second with these loaves for the airfield in Lipetsk. This is only the beginning. Russians, get on your knees, beg for mercy, for forgiveness. Wash your kokoshniks, bake some loaves of bread. Make a hole in the center for salt and meet the liberators. This is only the beginning. Georgia is still rising. Chechnya rises. Everyone you killed, they are all happy now. Everyone will help now. Inside your failed country, the armed forces of Ukraine will help. Outside your failed country, everyone is helping Ukraine. Azerbaijanis, Armenians, Georgians, Chechens. Abdugaliev said, Recall, Ukrainian defense forces launched their major offensive in the Kursk region. The Ukrainian armed forces broke through the border in two places and began to advance deep into Russian territory. The operation is still ongoing and the Russian army has been unable to stabilize the situation. According to preliminary data, Ukrainian forces have taken control of about 650 square kilometers. While the advance groups are moving forward, reserves are being brought into the territory to consolidate it. Instead of martial law, the Kremlin has introduced a counter-terrorist operation regime in the territories bordering Ukraine. The Ukrainian offensive on the Kursk region of the Russian Federation was very fast and sudden. The Russians were forced to flee. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Ukrainian platoon encountered a serious obstacle to its daring incursion a series of concrete pyramids designed to block tanks. They quickly destroyed one of them with three tank shells and then flew out through the gap in armored vehicles. The Russians, mostly conscripts, fled or surrendered. In two and a half years, Russia has not built a single line of defense, said a 33-year-old Ukrainian platoon commander with the call sign Yannick. Within days, Ukrainian troops had captured more than two dozen villages. The offensive shocked Russia and raised morale in Ukraine. Military analysts have questioned how sustainable Russia's advantage in manpower and weapons is along much of the rest of the front line. The rapid maneuvers are reminiscent of Ukraine's successful counter-offensive in the Kharkiv region in 2022. Ukraine's top military commander, Colonel General Oleksandr Syrsky, said 1,000 square kilometers of Russian territory were now under Ukrainian control. During a visit to Kyiv, Senator Lindsey Graham called the invasion brilliant and bold calling on the Biden administration to provide Ukraine with more weapons. 
By breaking through the border, Kyiv is trying to divert Moscow's resources from other parts of the front line, where Ukrainian forces are under heavy pressure. But opening a new front risks stretching Ukrainian forces even further. The publication writes, Ukraine's ultimate plans are unclear, but whether Kyiv seeks to expand its incursion or to preserve what it already has, it will face trade-offs, said David Blagden, a senior lecturer in international security at the University of Exeter in Britain. The manpower, equipment and logistics requirements to try to support the invasion and then hold the territory once captured will be significant, particularly because of the lengthening supply lines, Blagden said. In a village near the Russian border, two Ukrainian soldiers, who were waiting for orders to join the battle near Kursk, said they had just arrived from the front line near Pokrovsk, where Ukrainian forces are under heavy pressure. Another soldier hopes the offensive will hasten an end to the war. He has not yet entered the battle, but said other soldiers in his brigade have captured four Russian artillery units. Two more have been killed and the rest have escaped. This is Russia's first war on its territory since World War II. Everyone was afraid of Russia, but we are showing that there is nothing to be afraid of, he said.